Hi everyone and welcome back for a new video. In the previous episode, we saw how we can use Mongo queries to manage databases and collections. Today, we are going to use Mongo queries to insert documents and to list documents from a given collection. As always, I'll use the standard Mongo shell. I have opened a command terminal and I need to type in Mongo in order to open the Mongo shell. Now, if you remember from the previous episode, we have deleted the customer database. So in order to insert documents, I need to recreate it to add a collection to it. And only then I can begin to insert documents. So if I type in show DBS, we can see that there is no customer DB and I have to create it with the use command. So use followed by the database name, customer DB, I'll hit enter. And now I can add a collection with the create collection command. I'll give it a name, customers. And now I have my database and my collection. Oh, sorry, show collections. Okay, so I have the customers collection inside my customer DB database. And now I'm ready to insert documents. In order to insert documents, we need to use the DB dot the collection name. So the collection in which we want to insert documents, in my case, customers, and then we have insert. So I have insert, and then I need to paste in the document in the form of a JSON object. So I want to insert customers, so I'll give them a name, an age, say two, and if it is, if the customer is a frequent buyer or not, false, okay? So I hit enter and I have successfully inserted one document. Okay, if you have very complex objects with a lot of properties, then using the insert command in a single line might not be extremely useful. Luckily for us, we can actually split uh, the insert commands onto multiple rows. So I can say DB customers insert. I'll open a bracket and I can type in enter to jump to the next row. And now I can type in the properties, one property per line. I can say John, um, age can be 22, is frequent buyer, true. Okay, I'll, cl I'll close the bracket, I'll close the parentheses. Okay, a semicolon, and now I'll hit enter, and again, I have inserted another document. Now, these commands are identical. The only difference is that in its second form, this one is a lot more readable because it splits the um, properties on a different row. So if you have complicated objects with tree-like structures, then you'll probably use uh, this last one. Now, what if I want to insert multiple documents at once? So if you want to insert a high number of documents, then it's more efficient to insert them in a bulk operation than to call the insert function for a large number of times. And we can do that pretty easily. So db customers.insert. And now instead of passing in a single object, I need to pass in an array of documents. Okay, so I'll have name colon um, Sylvia age 28 is frequent buyer. Well, this is my first document and I can paste in another one. Let's say um, Christian age 19 is frequent buyer true. Okay. And I need to close the square bracket, which contains my array of documents. I'll close the parentheses. And now I'll hit enter and I have performed a bulk insert. So now I should have four documents in my collection and we need to check them out. In order to display the documents in a given collection, we can use the find function. So db dot, we need to type in the name of the collection and then we have find. Now the find function will 
will expect us to pass in a filter and that filter is passed between brackets but if I just have an empty filter then it will display all the documents inside my collection so by empty filter I mean that we just open and close two brackets with nothing inside of them so the filter is empty and therefore the find function will return all the documents inside the customer's collection I'll hit enter and now we can see the four documents that we have created Anna, John, Sylvia and Christian also notice that we have an ID field now we did not create this ID field so if you remember when we use the insert function we just specify the name, the age and if the um, customer is a frequent buyer or not the ID field was generated by Mongo automatically each time you used the insert function so it's something that Mongo does for each document that is stored in a collection okay but again if you have documents that are very complex then using the find function like this may not be very good because the results should not be readable you can imagine that uh, these uh, my objects are pretty simple and by printing them one per line we already are at the end of our available screen real estate so if you have complex objects you can use find okay so I want to find all the documents and then we can append the pretty function after it pretty okay hit enter and now we get our four documents only this time we have them written in a more readable form but what if you want to display only certain fields so uh, the find function by default will display all the properties in an object but what if I just want to display the names of my customer well we can use another variation of the find function so I said db, db customers find I'll pass in an empty filter and now I can pass in the fields that I want to display so I can say name and now I can pass in a 1 or a 0 if I pass in 1 then the name field will get displayed if I pass in a 0 then the name field uh, will not get displayed okay I'll hit enter and now I have only the name is displayed here also notice that the ID field is displayed automatically so if you want to hide it you need to explicitly you know hide the ID field so you can say ID colon zero and now you only get the names of our customers the last thing that we can do is we can actually print the number of customers in a given collection so I can say DB customers find an empty filter and then I can say count I'll hit enter and I get number four so I have four customers in my collection okay so as you've seen inserting documents and listing documents is pretty easy the, um, the queries are not very complicated and they're quite flexible in the next episode we'll talk about filtering and how we can actually filter our documents in order to get the results that we need until then have a great day write amazing code and I'll see you next time Goodbye.